Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my very best to conduct myself as a professional. You know, I've had a lot of people at time and time again to ask me why I wear my mask. Uh, the assassin has his outlooks on why he wears his, and I have mine. I had difficulty in getting matches at times, and so therefore I took the opportunity to put the mask on, and I find myself in a much better position in uh, getting matches, uh, kind of matches that I like to have. You made a very interesting comment earlier in the program, sir, that you had vowed that one day you were going to remove his mask. Well, first of all, let me elaborate briefly on his statements. If you've ever had any trouble getting a match, it's only because you never approach me, pal. And as far as your great ability is concerned, as far as I'm concerned, your great ability and your great reputation is certainly suspect as far as I'm concerned. Now, for the information of the people in the viewing audience, why do I wear a mask? I wear a mask simply because I do not want the notoriety that would be involved by being the television personality and the athletic personality that I am. When I go to a restaurant to eat, I don't want a bunch of fans coming up to me, bugging me for autographs. I don't want a bunch of people coming up and asking me about myself, my profession, and about my private life. That's exactly what a mask affords me, the opportunity to live a private life. <laughs> well, that's his outlook. I have mine. You know, I also have had the opportunity of holding many, many individual titles, like the Georgia heavyweight title, a tag team title, the North, North American, American heavyweight title, and several others. I've been awarded uh, so, uh, a numerous of, uh, of uh, trophies, and I'm very proud of that. And uh, I find that uh, by having this mask, it's, you know, it means everything in the world to me. If I lose my mask, I feel I've lost everything. So you. you Immediately, it tells you that my mask is, is, means everything to me, and I intend to hang on to it, and there's no one that's going to take it one way or the other, regardless of what their thoughts may be. Well, first of all, you know, it's, it's ridiculous for us to even stand here and conduct an in-depth interview, because you're talking to a man who is a former this and a former that. What the people are really interested in is what's happening now. And what's happening now is me. What's happening now is the team of the Assassins. We're not former anything. We are the current Georgia Tag Team Champions. And as far as this man is concerned, the only reason that he has the reputation for holding the Georgia Heavyweight Championship longer than any other man is because I didn't happen to be in the area at the time that you held the belt. Because certainly, sir, you do not have enough ability in the ring or anywhere else to hold on to that belt or any other thing against the caliber of talent you're looking at right here, brother. Well, now, gentlemen, I'm, I'm trying to keep this down. Well, listen, I, I, I didn't come out here to get, you know, tore down by anybody. I don't have to stand here and listen to his derogatory remarks, his sarcastic remarks. Hey. Let me tell you something, Assassin. The only time you can ever do anything is when you have someone by your side. I have yet to see any time you do anything by yourself. You stand there and you talk and you rap about how great you are. Why the hell don't you do something on your own once in a while? Oh, my. Aren't we becoming emotional? You know, that's one of your problems. That's why you have never been able to achieve the one little thing in professional wrestling that I've been able to achieve, and that's greatness. Because you cannot control your temper. You have an uncontrollable temper, and an uncontrollable temper only denotes someone that has a feeble mind. And I, don't, I suspect, sir, that you are not overly intelligent because an overly intelligent person or even a normally intelligent person would certainly be able to control himself under any type of adverse conditions. Well, now, Let me tell you something right now, Puskut. I am what I am because of I, my, my reputation and my hotness, you want to call it. That's what keeps me going where I'm going. And if you think you're so damn tough, hey... Let's go in the ring right now. You think you're so doggone tough? Let's get it on in there. 
Hey, there's no restrictions in that ring, pal. Why don't you come on in the ring right now? You've got such a big mouth. Come on. What a grandstand play this is on the part of Mr. Wrestling number two. Well, I'll... I'm surprised that he doesn't have all the forms of the news media here to react to this grandstand play on the part of Mr. Wrestling number two. He knows full well the conditions under which we agreed to appear on this in-depth interview. He knows that I do not have my wrestling attire on. He knows, in fact, that we're not going to have any sort of altercation. That's the only reason he's standing there running his big, fat, ugly mouth. Hey, Jesse. Come on in the ring. Let's see if your backbone is the color of your mask. You got where I'm coming from. You got where I'm coming from. Come on in here, Jesse. You borrow this time, boy, because nobody accuses me of being yellow. You ain't got a damn gun stuck in your body. I say you're yellow. Wait a second. Uh -huh. All right, the assassin is not going to meet the challenge. That was great. Wait a minute! Wrestling 2 just brought the assassin into the ring! He's got him inside the ring here and it is Wrestling 2 delivering a high knee that's another knee lift. And uh -uh, the second assassin. Wrestling 2, uh -uh, wrestling 2 being caught by both assassins now. And the assassins. The assassins after wrestling 2. Wrestling 2, caught by both assassins. They have him tied up, on a, and it is assassin number one after that mask. Assassin number one after that mask. And they are trying desperately to get that mask off, and assassin, and it appears, it appears now to, that Wrestling 2 has been lacerated. And both assassins now continue to punish. And it is uh, Mike Davis charging the ring, caught by the second assassin. The rest of that mask, and now another competitor. Just hurtled into the ring, it was knocked aside. And they're trying to get that mask off, and here comes Steve Kern. And the assassin missed with that right hand. And wait a second. Wait a second. They're trying to get Wrestling 2 out of there now. Steve Kern pounding away at Assassin number 2. And it is Kern now trying. Then wait a minute. Assassin 1 has the mask. Assassin 1 has. He has the mask. He has gotten the mask off of Wrestling number 2. Wrestling number 2 has been escorted from the ring. And that mask. White, black, and crimson. The assassin has it. We'll be back. We'll be back in just a moment. Steve, no, dude. So help me, God, I'm going to get you, and I'm going to rip your mask off, and you hurt it off with it. You don't do this to me. I am Mr. Wrestling, too. I do wear a mask, and I'm going to wear it as long as I don't want to. And I'll back you up. You're never going to have to worry about another man coming in from behind you again. Well. Wait a minute, Wrestling 2 and Wrestling 1 have just charged the ring. Wrestling 2 and Wrestling 1 have just charged the ring, and they're trying to even a score here. Wrestling 2 and Wrestling 1 after the masked assassin. And uh, there's no question about the attack that the assassins have got up. And they're going after the mask. They're going after the mask of the assassin. They're trying to get that mask off the referee, trying to restore order. The referee trying to restore order. And they're still after that mask of the assassin. Wrestling one and wrestling two, and now the second assassin. Trying to, or the assassin, well, whichever one of the assassins it is. They're trying to get that mask. They are trying, and they've got it. They got the mask. They got the mask. We could not tell who it was. We could not tell who it was. But wrestling one and wrestling two got the mask. We'll be back in a moment. It's an all. You know, we were last year.